Okay. The middle area. We got more dog crow crow dog. Ah, oh, damn it. <laughs> Yay, more chunk. I, I got the Evelyn up to plus nine in my own time, so I spent a lot of those chunks I had. It was like, why not? I already know I'm going to get it to plus ten eventually. Okay, so that's a shortcut I can't use yet. This elevator will take us back to right before uh, the like area where I fought Mikulash. As you can see, there is a secret area right there. I don't know whether or not it's easier to get this going up or going down. This one is pretty tricky. Kind of like hard to ballpark it. There we go. All right, the fuck you area. We're doing it. The fucking worst area in the entire game. That is the least of my problems right now. Uh, I got inflicted Oregon. That's chalice material stuff. I'm sure the description's not all that interesting. They pretty much all say the same fucking thing. Okay, it's everyone's favorite enemy. It's the Winter Lantern. So I've heard, and I can't really tell, but I've heard that these things design kind of like resemble the doll and that like the creepy head tentacle shit might be like a mass of messengers. I'm not sure. I've heard that. I can't really make it out though. I'm dead. Oh, I'm not dead. I didn't do nearly as much as I was hoping. I'm going to be frenzied though. There it goes. Oh, it's actually going to go down. Nice. I was prepared to pop a sedative. Okay, there's two fucking more of them on this bridge. Like, this is where it's like, okay, this is a little overkill. <laughs> I think, like, this bridge probably let From Software know, like, okay, we need to not do this enemy again. <laughs> At some point, I think someone like had it in the design for like Dark Souls 3 that there's going to be like something similar and they're like, no, <laughs> take it out, erase it, delete that file. I got healed because of the fine message. <laughs> oh, that would have been great had I been like on the verge of death and that saved me. That would have been like the most clutch thing ever. They drop pebbles. Are you fucking kidding me? Fuck you from software. That's bullshit. God damn that grab. It's so strong. It's so good. Like, it's ridiculous, like, how good that command grab is for what this enemy's gimmick is. It's fucking orange shit. I'm dead. I'm so dead. Fuck this bridge. You know what it would have been nice instead of, like, the bullshit we got with these things? Is if, uh, they made them, like, the, uh, 
I'm fucking dead. <laughs> yeah, it's way easier to do it going up. It's way, way easier to do it going up. Oh. Or was I right, right, right? It would have been nice had these things been the same as those uh those blow dart fuckers from Dark Souls that are in uh what should we call it? The shit area. Blight Town. Fuck those guys. Those guys suck, but at least they're permadeath. You kill them, they never come back. So it's just like, okay, you beat the shit uh, status ailment enemy. Never have to worry about it again. Not the fucking Winter Lanterns. Yes, give me my zero blood echoes, please. We did it. Oh, they also drop shitty blood gems. The cursed ones are hardly ever worth it. I honestly have never found one where I'm like, yeah, sign me up. All right, Spider Town. Oh, these guys have human heads. Fucking it. So they're kind of like patches, except they don't talk. Hole cut spiders. That's all that's in this room. What'd you drop? Quicksilver bullets. Well, you got to say, evil eye waits ahead. Therefore, remember contact. I don't have that yet. But I wanted to get this out of the way. Time to solve the problem. All right. Goodbye, mother brain. That was the thing that was doing the big glowy frenzy shit on the entire area. So now you can explore all over this place without having to worry about that garbage. There's more to explore though, so let's go in this hole. Oh, there's another one in here. God damn it. I'm getting fucking frenzied from across the gap. And look at this bullshit. They put like these fucking beams here to be like, <laughs> take your time getting to it, fucker. Bitch. I have found the strategy. Wire bell. I, I don't know what the fuck this thing does. I completely forgot about this. Does it heal maybe? pass it up there it is yeah it sure does special hunter tool of the choir high-ranking members of the church fashioned after a bell that projects an arcane sound across planes of existence the sound of this smaller silver version of the bell does not cross planes but grants vigor and healing to all cooperators so if you want to be a cool bro while you're playing co-op you can heal people in your game I have to go back across this. I think the room below us is the spider room. I'm not sure. Yeah, it kind of looks like it, though the spiders didn't load in. Maybe? What the fuck is that over there? Right? Am I crazy? Chime in, Zero. I think it's the spider room. And yeah, and that, I guess that thing I'm seeing back there is something I picked an item off of. I don't know. It must be that room. I guess they didn't count on the player, like, looking down. 
they didn't load the spiders in, so I don't know. Kind of like makes it look bad. All right. This is also safe to explore now. Great One's Wisdom, Arcane Damp Blood Gem, Great One's Wisdom. We're going to get all kinds of goodies. More Great One's Wisdom. Oh, yeah. That's a lot of insight going into my inventory. Something else over here. Nope. Damn blood tinge gym. That's really good. I think that's like the best gun blood tinge gym that you get. That's definitely gonna go on the Evelyn. There's the door I opened from Mikkel Ash's room. So this is where I came out and I was like, nope, fuck that shit. Also, you see that like these bodies got frenzied, I think. I don't know. The rules of this area is kind of confusing because you can lose health by that thing looking at you without getting frenzied. So whatever you got to say bloodstone waits ahead. Oh, it sure does. So this is where it was hanging. We dropped it. You can come in here without it uh, dropping. It's just really risky. Hey, thank you. That healed me from the drop. Here we go. Blood rock. The only one in the game. That's your plus 10. Well, the only one in the main game. That's your thing to get items to plus 10. All right. So this ultimately leads out to where that hunter was saying, oh, Bloodborne's balls exposed live on stream. Can't escape me. We all saw it. We all saw you pop into existence. That also explains how uh, we weren't seeing the uh, the spiders. Where the fuck is the lever? There it is. Because you have to actually be in the room proper in order for those enemies to load in. All right. Here's that elevator I sent down. I'm never going to use apparently. Let's go cash out real quick and do the upgrade. Let's get the cane up to plus 10. Even though the cane is not like the final weapon I want to use, I need to get it to plus 10 because like I, I need a plus 10 weapon to fight the DLC. It's just too hard. I've also been upgrading this thing. I used it a little bit in the chalice dungeons. I don't like it. It's, it's just not that good. And I'm in blood gym fortification. Uh, fortify. There we go. I also picked up an uncanny saw cleaver. There are uncanny versions of weapons inside of the chalice dungeons that you can pick up. And what they change, I don't know if they change like raw stats, but they do change what type of blood gym goes into the third slot. So you see the first one, the regular, uh, no, excuse me. Here we go. The regular one has a waning blood gym in its third slot. And this one has a triangle, but other than that, they're identical. Damn it. I went to the wrong thing again. Thread gain. Yes. Spin that blood rock. Fortify. That's right. I already got the evil into plus nine. How many? I have seven chunks. I need to get what? How many? 16 for uh, the next weapon I get. All right, let's check out blood gems. I might've gotten some upgrades. Let's see this cursed one decreases attack versus the kin, which is not what I want. I'm fighting a lot of kin. At least I think I am. It's never been quite clear what is and isn't kin. But it basically means enemies that are weak to bolt. <laughs> That's how I know. All right, this one's pretty good. Tempering Damp Blood Gym. 14 rarity. 
Increases physical attack plus 18%. So yeah, let's go with that. Let's see, do I get any good triangles? No, except for the cursed one. But if I go over to the Evelyn, hell yeah, give me that damn blood tinge gem. Sweet. Welcome home, good hunter. What is it? Very well, let. Let me get that up to thirty. Farewell, good may you. F All right, I got what I wanted from that area. So now it's time to go to where the fuck is it? Is it all the way back to the first one? It sure is Upper Cathedral Ward. Bye. I like that they just like walk away. They have no idea you zoned in. All right, this place sucks. Let's kill these babies. Which I presume are actual children that got transformed into shit. I don't know. That's just my head cannon. They do attack, I think. Attack me. Let's see what you do. Yeah, they do frenzy. All right, let's see how bad it gets. Okay, it does not fill up too much. Great Lake. Pretty sure you have a variant of that. Oh, he's got the jiggling fever. And now he's dead. Wow, look at all this whipping going on. It's like a real orphanage. They are giving me piddly squat. And of course they are. Why wouldn't they like give me anything good? Damn bird. That doesn't kill them. That is like the most fucking magic pixel shit. That's bullshit. All that for some fucking blood, really? That's all you guys are guarding? Ah, uh, it's you dudes. It's uh, church guys. He's got a big cool scythe. Now he's really the undertaker. Thank you. It's very generous. Three blood vials. All right, fuck this place. It's dark as all hell. Also, you guys are everywhere. You insight suckers. Who did you get? You got me. You got a hunter. I don't know why it said there was church garb on this dude. I also didn't take a good look at which church shit I got. <laughs> choir garb. That's what I got. Let's read the body piece. Tire of the choir, high ranking members of the healing church. Members of the choir are both the highest ranking clerics of the healing church and scholars who continue the work that began at Bergenworth. Together with the left behind great ones, they look to the skies in search of astral signs that may lead them to the rediscovery of true greatness. The choir's fucked. They're, they're assholes. They're like the worst of the worst of the healing church. Conducting experiments on people, turning them into space aliens. Fake Yosefka's from the choir. Either they're still in the choir or was. I ruined your surprise, bro. 
Also, you got blue eyes. The big dog. He's just like Roman Reign. Ah, oh, fucker's kicking my ass. <laughs> the big dog goes over yet again. Oh, now he just starts off in here. Of course, he picked up my souls. Now Roman is champion. No one likes you, Roman. Man, it sure would suck if there were like five more of those. It's like five more. Where are they? Visceral attack is effective. Usually always is. Does not open from this side. How does this work? Are they? Oh, they're on top of the shit. Okay. So yeah, this is a big fuck you level. That's why. And they just all fucking trigger. What a loaded shit. Oh, time to coward. Oh yeah, your pathing doesn't like this, does it? Now that's what I call strategy. Let's solve the problem. There might still be one left. I don't know. There's a lot going on in this room. None of it's good. It's all gross. Your brain suckers everywhere. There he is. I knew there was one left. Ah, shit. Actually, I should heal. Pull out my gun. Pull out my gun. See, can I open this or do I need a key? Yeah, I need a key. Shit. See if I can pull shit my way through this. No. No, the tech is too good. Well, that worked. I won that exchange. What the fuck? I don't even remember that one. What does that unlock? Cosmic Eye Watcher Badge. Badge of a member of the choir leads to the healing church. The eye signifies the very cosmos. The choir stumbled upon in epiphany, very suddenly and quiet, quite by accident. Here we stand, feet planted in the earth, we, but might the cosmos be very near us, only just above our heads? Well, that's where they usually are. Now to do this side. You're a trap, aren't you? You're a huge trap. Give me your shit. I'm lucky he ran this way and not that way. I think he was supposed to go in this room. Oh, that's the trap.
What's back here? Oh, God damn it. Why does there have to be so many of them? Why did I think I had my gun out? I'm so lucky I'm alive. Come on, lock on, lock on. Just need to get up and shoot. Fuck you. See how quickly they went in, uh, that one went into like a second attack? Real slug. Is that a unique item or is that fucking fodder for ritual materials? I don't remember. Yeah, it's ritual material. I hate that they can do that, like, do that shit so quickly a second time. Did not pick up your item. Just a bloodstone shard. Super worthless, because I have like 200 of them. Pick this shit up. Oh, it's just all madman's knowledge. Oh, the blindfold cap. That completes the choir set. I think there's another one on the left, though. Yeah. Luckily, I got this one. Gotcha, fucker. Orphanage key that opens that big door at the bottom. Here's where I fought the big dog. Is this where it is? I think it is. Yeah, I needed this before continuing to explore the Nightmare of Mensis. What do you say? Time for contact. Well, that's appropriate. Make contact. It's a gesture. That's the thing you need to do. You want to talk to great ones. Make contact. Also, does this guy hurt me? No, he doesn't. I thought he might be like those uh, bodies down in uh, Yahar Ghoul. Right, how do I get the fuck out of here? I passed it, didn't I? Behind me, it's to my left, there it is. Also, we've pretty much explored the entire area. That's it. Upper Cathedral Ward, this orphanage, not very big. What is this? Oh, just more blood. And pulling this opens a shortcut to the very beginning of the area. Here's the lamp. I'm going to go level up real quick and restock on stuff. I mean, overall, there's five in the main game left. you were there. Take that off. Where is it? Old paper. I only have two. Damn. God, I hope I don't die against this boss. It's the Celestial Emissary. So let me just scout this out a little bit. Is it you? 
Nope. All right, so one of them is the actual boss. It's you. Cause you don't have a health bar. Shit. Will you let me backstab you? Get rid of you. Oh, perhaps not. Oh, shit. Attack got cancelled. I'm dead. I fucking died to the celestial emissary. Why that doesn't actually hurt you? Don't think about it too much. Communion? Do I have a communion yet? Yeah, I do. That's the higher vial max. Well, that does it for up cathedral ward. No one, okay, no, plenty of people left messages. Come to the right place, nothing but hidden path here. Time for rolling, yeah. Keep rolling, rolling, rolling. You could probably see this item through the window too. This, this is the, uh, the top of the actual Grand Cathedral. This is where we fought, uh, Vicar Amelia. Now, if this game were good, it's not, unless that's, I don't know, maybe. I was going to say, you should be able to see Crobin, whatever the fuck that guy's name is. Bloody cheater crow asshole. He should be hanging out down there. I don't know if he actually is, though. Yeah, I think that's the lamp. Which is no longer functioning, by the way. Never picked up the item. Gotta fight you first. This also led to one of my, ooh, Call Beyond. That's the cool one. That's the best one. This also led to like one of my favorite moments in uh, Wooly and Pat's LP for best friends. Cause like, obviously this is where you fight Vicar Amelia. And it's like, oh, this is a cool place that I've been to before. And like when they get there, Wooly goes, I know what this is. This is the place where you fought Blood Starved Beast. It's like, for fuck's sake, Wooly. Oh, it was so great. It's like he almost had it, and then he blew it right at the end. I was just thinking, oh, I still have those boss souls on me, and then I looked at how much they actually are, and they're not enough to level up. Oh, I didn't pick up what I had uh, from that arena, but it wasn't very much. I don't know, a few thousand. Oh, I didn't even see you guys for a second there. Oh. This guy's doing the exact same thing. Who are you? You're, oh, it's my boy. It's my boy. Fuck yeah. My new best friend. What's up, bro? Oh, I didn't know he was here, actually. I had no idea they put someone there. Altar of Despair. Maybe he'll carry me through this fight. Yeah, the Celestial uh, Emissary is like a joke. It's not a real fight, which is why I'm so embarrassed I died. This is the real fight. 
top bloodborne waifu girl. Hello. So right here we got either the Rom or a Rom. Like that's Rom's body. Now if it's the Rom, I don't know how the fuck it got here. Maybe it's Rom's mom or something. I don't know. Here's the boss. It's not doing nothing to no one. It's got barnacles. Can we get a look into its mouth? No. She's cute. I like her a lot. But we got a fighter. I feel bad because it like she, he's not gonna bother you. But we gotta do it. I don't think that hit counts either. It does not. Abriatus, daughter of the cosmos. You're real cool, Abriatus. She's got space in her face. Hey, what's up, Damien? Oh, we got the same weapon. Did we always have the same weapon? I don't remember. He's doing cool shit over there. Let him, let him go. He's missing hard though. All up in your grill, girl. Oh shit, that almost got me. Let him do cool shit. Oh, frenzy. Oh, back up, back up, back up. Heal. Oh, he got fucked by that. He's really not doing shit. Oh, there's Colby on. Luckily, it's not aimed at me. Rest in peace, Damien, bro. You fought the good fight. You've nothing to be ashamed of, my man. What are you doing? Oh shit. That blood does frenzy damage. Oh, uh, cameras everywhere. Uh-oh. <laughs> I'm probably dead. Yeah, I'm dead. She's cool. She's also really hard. But she's real cool. I like her. I think she's my favorite boss in the main game. Oh, I missed. I missed again. Is it me or is his, like, magic doing next to nothing? Oh, yeah. that miss and we're done here Damien my dude you're super cool thanks Damien run into my butt please got a new chalice Good thing I killed her because I kind of forgot to pick up these 20,000 souls. I 
All right, there's another thing to do here. Inspect. There we go. Offer flesh to alter. Time flows in reverse for this scrap of flesh. What's up? That guy probably won. Yeah, he won. He's going to do the thing just like I did. Unless he's about to start the fight. I don't know. I walked past the lamp. Or did I? Where the fuck is it? There it is. What's up, Annalise? Closest of kin. Bearer, I what is that? Oh, that's right. Like, she doesn't have any new unique dialogue for, like, saving her ass. I guess it's just to continue the covenant. But, uh, <laughs> take that, Alfred. You killed yourself for nothing. What a roast. It's like, yeah, good job. I'm going to revive her, though, as soon as you leave, though. Fantastic. I don't know why I'm exploring this room. Maybe there's something I'm missing it, but no. There's nothing to do here. She's just back. This There's a light on in this window. Whereas uh, before it turned off when that girl went and got herself killed. Ah, uh, you haven't by any chance seen my little sister, have you? It's the same I voice. But she's gone off somewhere. She's still quite small. And wears a big white ribbon. Have you seen her out there anywhere? Yeah, about that. Oh. How did this happen? Why would she ever go outside? <laughs> At least... I'll have something to remember her by. Okay, so the way this works is we should be able to hear this girl talking to herself now. What a perfect ribbon. Cool. And now it's mine. I can't wait to try it on. <laughs> okay, so now that I've given it to her, there should be a way to obtain the regular white version of it. Shut up. You shut up too. And you. So much stronger I am. You are nothing to me. How do I obtain the regular white ribbon? Do I have to load out and then come back? All right, let's check. And she's gone. No response. So I take it, go back and see the pig. Oh, no, that's her. She's fucking dead. Neat. She got owned real fast. Cool that you get to actually see her. And that she has like a unique character model. Yay, I got the good one. So you never get to see her face. Well, that's what you get for being a bitch. All right, so this is where I took the elevator to get onto Winter Lantern Bridge over there. This is the main road. These guys are the Shadows of Yarnum. Drop quite a bit of a uh, fucker of blood echoes too. And there's a lot more of them on this route. So this is, I think, this is like the good grindy area of the game.
go. Stone chunk. Is the baby crying? We got some pigs in this area. They're two. And they're real gross. They got eyeballs all over them. See if I can't sneaky stab this one. Look at that butt. Nope, I didn't get the butt. I don't know how that first one missed, but that second one counted. It wasn't even close to being on its butt. I was way off to the side. They gave it to me. Blood vial. There's an, oh, there's three actually, two more. Let me see if I can only trigger one of them. There we go. Oh no, the camera. <laughs> I tried to walk on. Thank God I did that in time. Oh. Okay. Porker Town is taken care of. I oh, I know where that bell ringing woman is. We got more shadows of Yarnum. Let's pick up this stuff. In cold blood. Ooh, that's a lot of blood. Is blood. You guys really just gonna, okay. Sure, that makes my life easier because I want to do this first anyway. God, why could I not walk on? There we go. Congratulations, you called in no one. But stone chunks. There's multiple in this area. So there should be a scaring beast over here somewhere. There he is. All the way down. Stone chunk. Three of them, right? This leads out to where I've already been. Back to Pig Town. Hold on, did I miss something right there? No. Thought I saw an item. Let's see if the shadows have circled back into this area. There they are. off in the middle of an animation here buddy okay that does it for them I think that's every threat 
I don't think there's another one. Hello. I know who you are. But I'm not going to say it just now. You, uh, you hold tight there. I got a lever to pull. Now, here's a question. That's a Yusefka blood vial, so I just pop the one I have because you can't carry more than one. I don't know why that's here. Does anyone know? Because I still don't know why that's here. Usually from software, it's very picky about their like item placement. So it's weird that that's here, the top of this loft. I don't know what that means. So this is where it leads. It leads back to that elevator I fell off and died. So a super easy shortcut. Never have to worry about all the enemies in this area ever again. In fact, I don't know why I wrote this back up. I really need to leave. I have 68,000 on me. Okay, the thing that's different here, this elevator. I actually don't know what causes this elevator to appear. I don't know if it's dropping Mother Brain or if it's technically beating Mikolash, but I know between all those events, it eventually appears. So down into what's essentially the abyss, you go. How kind of people to leave messages so you know what the right direction is. Hello. Hello, Mother Brain. He's cute. Actually, he's real gross. Now, I don't know why he doesn't attack or, you know, do the frenzy thing anymore. Maybe he was injured upon falling in here and he can no longer do it. But he is not a threat whatsoever. But what I need to do... I need to say hello to him. Let's just make contact. How is everyone's nights slash mornings going? Because we're going to be here a while. This is going to take a minute or so. <laughs> there we go. The best moon rune for maximum extra blood echoes. Only way to get it is to make contact with this fucker. And once you have it, there's no reason to keep him alive. This will also take a while. And that's why the living string. Don't know if this thing's going to have a very interesting item description. Oh, it does. Cool. It has something unique. The immense brain that Mensis retrieved from the nightmare was indeed lined with eyes on the inside, but they were of an evil sort and the brain itself was terribly rotten. But even still, it was a legitimate great one. It left a relic, a living relic at that, which is a precious thing indeed. So this chalice... Uh, ritual material is pretty rare. Alright, I guess we should go pal by lean. I'm probably gonna get super wrecked by this asshole. Oh, uh, Cathedral Ward. I wish you could just go into the Grand Cathedral. Alright, what's up, Eileen? You're still good? Alright. Round two. The first true attempt. I knew I wasn't strong enough the first time. All right, he's cool where he's at. I'm gonna put on some uh, some of this. I got four of them on me. Fuck you. He hates it. God, that did a lot. I'm almost dead. What a filthy cheater. Oh, I'm lucky he didn't go in for a visceral. Oh, he brought it out and then he put it right back with the Chicago. I'm dead. <laughs> God. God damn. That was a good hit. Walk into it, you stupid fuck. Ah, you motherfucker. Ooh. 
Ooh. Oh, you fuck! I can't believe he throws nothing miss! What an asshole! That's too much! That's too much! That's right. I forgot that Chicago does fast poison too. Uh oh, I am dead. Fuck you, I saw that coming. You gotta be faster if you wanna hit me with that numbing miss. Oh, he almost perfectly timed it too. You get back here. Uh-uh. Oh, he threw it over my head. <laughs> Fuck you. Blood rapture. Is that one I already had probably at this point? Yeah, this is the visceral attacks restore HP. It's clearly the best version of it too. Now you can use that lamp. Get this crap off of me. Back to being garbage you go. Guess what, Eileen? Did you see it? You think I'm cute now? Don't you ever listen to your elders. No matter. You did save my life. I don't seem to be up for this life anymore. My glory days were long ago now. I know. Here. For you. A crow hunter badge. In the hunter covenant rune. This too is hunter's work. But it bears no honor. A burden you may choose to carry. The decision is yours alone. grow heavy. Let me rest a while. I'll be fine. Just wait. And she actually goes to sleep. As far as I know, she doesn't die. She's fine. Band-aid on it. And really, if you try to use the, the bell on her, kills her? That seems mean. That seems super uncalled for. I don't have the stats to use it, but I would have liked to have tried it out. That seems like bullshit. Like, really? It's like uh, punishing the player for having like a good curiosity. Having the heart in the right place to be like, maybe I can help her. Yeah, you just kill her. That must suck for whoever found that out, naturally. They must have been super disappointed. First guy who found that out was probably really upset. Pro Hunter Badge. Badge of a hunter of hunters who hunts those who have become addled with blood. A badge of the hunter of hunters is quietly passed down from generation to generation, usually to an outsider from the hinterlands. Well, that does kind of describe the hunter. To be entrusted with this cursed badge, one must be strong, resilient to the seduction of blood, and gracious when taking a comrade's life. So it feels like this is the only badge in the game where uh, you kind of get like super legitimately, like you didn't just pick it up from somewhere, like it actually fits you. Also, I got this key item from uh, one of the one of the chalice dungeons. It lets you make arcane haze out of uh, 
right here. Arcane Haze can be scraped out of various ritual materials. Materials are permanently lost after the haze is extracted. Arcane Haze is an essential material for certain chalice rituals. So it lets you turn your other chalice materials into Arcane Haze, which is used in certain rituals. I think it's used in the type that start with the one that, uh, what's your name gave me? Abriatus. Yeah, it was also the first great chalice brought back to the surface since the time of Bergenworth and allowed the choir to have audience with the Briatus. There's some real cool chalice dungeons that start with that version. Let's see, we looked at the thing. All right, all right. The, the rune. Hunter. Carol rune that transcribes in human sounds. This red smudge rune means hunter and it has been adopted by those who have taken the Hunter of Hunter's Oath. These watchmen admonish those who have become addled with blood, be they men or beast, anyone who has threatened the pledgers of the Hunter Oath surely has an issue with blood. I'll put this thing on. Because this one, stamina recovery up. This one, as well as uh, Alfred's one, the vial HP recovery up, are both very good. But uh, I like this one. It's like a, a Chloranthi ring. Okay, is there anything we haven't done in the main game? I feel like I've touched it all now. So back to the middle loft. I maybe should have stocked up on like bolt paper. Oh, damn it. Oh, I might be dead. <laughs> I'm super dead. That fall didn't feel that far, but it was far enough. 